guys, Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. Guess what time it is? This is my pick ten journal. Here's my pick ten sticks. Just gonna sit them here for a minute. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Flip you over. Oh yes, that was interesting, wasn't it? Okay, so now that was last month. Let's see what we have for. I'm gonna take this off. Come on. Maybe. Maybe not. I think I I think I glued it. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So pick ten. Boy, that's bright, isn't it? I must have been in a bright mood that day. So let's see. What are we gonna end up with today? I'm just gonna pick them one at a time. Actually, no, I'm not. One I'm looking up at the camera so I can't see them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, make sure I got ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Are we ready? I'm going to lay them over here to the side. Whoops, hopefully not get on my palette here. I've got some paint from another project I was just working on. So, here we go. Let's see what number one is. Punched pieces. I could do that. I actually have this wonderful little tin, and it's so funny because I got it out this morning thinking, you know, I really need to use up some of this stuff. Um, this is full of punches and die cuts. So... Let me see what my punches are. These are die cuts. That's a punched piece. Let's see what I can find. I wonder if die cuts can, are considered punched peaches. Punched. Boy, say that three times fast. Punched pieces. These are. I know these are all punches. Let me see. Do, 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 do. There's all kinds of really cool stuff in here that I could play with. Um, these are all die cuts. I know these are die cuts. Do, 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 do. Punches. Here's some punched pieces. All right, so let's start out with those. So I gotta grab. I'm gonna grab a glue stick. Where's my glue stick? Here's a little. Elmer's glue stick and we're just going to put down some punched pieces. That looks like a good spot. What do you think? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so, put these on the side. Okay, let's do a little doodaddy here. See all the glue I'm getting on there? That's okay. Oops. Come here. You know what? I'm going to make these things come out of the hearts. Why not? All right, hang on there. I need a. Ah! It's not sticking. Stick, 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 you sticky. I know it'll stick if I just. There. Put it down. All right, this is sticky here. So let's take this sticky. We're gonna take this sticky. We're gonna make just some flying heart flowers. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I need to find another heart. Do, do, do. There's um actually let me see. Let me find I need another heart. Here's a heart. And I need another one of those. Whoops. So watch, I won't be able to find one. And I am not gonna tear this all apart looking for one. So let's see, is that one? Here's one right there. It's one of those kind. That's okay. We can use one of those kind, right? Do, 
It's funny, the tiniest heart has the biggest flower coming out of it. Alright. Punched pieces, number one. I just got to put this away, set it over here. So I have room. Okay, there's number one. Number two is Fling Ink. Hmm. All right. We've got some ink right here in my basket. So let's do some flinging. Let's fling some. Let's fling some of this pink. This is oh, it's cherry red. Now how I'm gonna do the flinging is I want to use a. Just gonna use like this paintbrush. Boy, that paintbrush looks like it really needs cleaned. And I'm going to put this on my palette. And then I'm just gonna, boy, that stinks. Spray a little bit. I think I say that every time I open these, these Bombay, man, they stink. I'm just gonna add some water to it over here on my palette. And I'm just gonna fling. Smells like skunk. Why? I don't know. All right, this is my flinging. It's as good as we're going to get for flinging. All right. So there's my. Oh, man, does that stink. Phew. Sorry about that. Whew. That's it. All I'm doing, I'm flinging ink. Well, actually, no. No, it's not. Where'd it go again? I don't want to pull it back out. Let's use some silver. Hopefully that won't stink. All right. Fling and ink. Next. Drip watery paint. Well, I can do that because I have the paint right here that I used. Let me... Use. Let's do a little bit of this color. I need to drip it. Is that what that said? Um, drip water. I have got ink all over my desk. Drip, huh? And whoop, move these over. Move that over. Oh, there's a drip. Dripping watery paint. Let's drip it on up through. I can't lift my book because I have all my things on it. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. All right, that's enough drippy watery paint. We did that. Let's go to number four is old book pages. All right, first thing I'm going to do, those. I'm going to dry this up before we do anything more to it. I'll be right back. All right, so this is not all the way dry, and I did end up um, just flipping my book up and letting it run a little bit, which I'm still going to do that. There you go, just so it runs a little bit. All right, we've got old book text, so I have some old book text here, and what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to put some down. We're going to use, we're just going to put some strips down. Now this has paint on it. It doesn't say whether or not it's supposed to be with paint, but this one's going to be with paint. And we're just going to put down some old book text. Why not? Because it says so. Do do. Right over some of that ink, which is no big deal. Oops, come here. Come here. These pages are just so cool. You never know what's going to happen to them. They could come out looking really cool or they could come out looking really crappy. But hey, it's it's fun. That's all that matters. And this is actually so freeing. I know I've told you guys that before. You know, it, it's <laughs> freeing in a way that you don't, 
you're not thinking, oh, I have to use, you know, I, I want it to look this way. I want it to. No, you just play because you never know. I like this. I like that. That's cool. I don't want to lose all that. So I'm just going to put another little piece like that. We'll take this piece and we'll stick it here. And we'll take this little piece and we'll put it down here. Maybe. Get back here, you. Come on, stay down there. It doesn't want to stay. We're just going to take another little piece. Boy, all I can smell is that ink. Blech. Nashy. Okay, and let's just do this here. Okay, so we've got down old book pages. I hope we get to do some doodling on this one. Because I want to bring that stuff up out, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let me put this back. Now what I did is I just stuck the uh, uh, prompts up here in a pile. I just piled them so the tenth one's on the bottom. So here's the next one is number one, two, three, four, five. Gesso through a stencil. Hmm. It's going to be hard, too, because this is still wet. All right, let me dry this up. I'm going to grab my gesso, figure out what stencil I want to use, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have gray gesso. Um, I bought this gray gesso at um, a local, not a local, an art shop in a town that um, Jeff and I were at. And it was called Dan's Crafts and Things. It's somewhere in upstate New York. And they had this acrylic medium gray gesso. Well, I've never seen gray gesso. Yeah, you can make it, but I've never seen it. So, of course, I had to pick up a thing of it. So that's the gesso that I've decided to use. And my sponge is very, very crunchy here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut the crunchy part off. There you go. Okay, and I'm just going to use this gesso here. All right, and I have this little stencil. It's probably, it's a piece, I know it's a piece of another stencil from somewhere. But I just want to, just a little bit here and there, do some gesso through my stencil. work for that little bit of play. It's all good. Next. So we did gesso through a stencil. Next is use a stencil to wipe areas with a baby wipe. Hmm. Well, first thing I'm going to do is clean off this stencil. Use a stencil to wipe areas with a baby wipe. The thing is, I don't know if there's much on there that's going to move. I can Maybe I can get the ink to move a little bit. Let's try it. Let's see. I'm going to put this right here. Let's see if I can wet that ink. It's not going to wet. It's not wetting. So, we got to do something else. So let's let's take this one. We're not going to do this one because I don't have anything on here to do. So I'm just going to pick another one. What have we got? Ribbon. <laughs> All right, we're going to add ribbon. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Let me get out the ribbon. I got to put my stencil back. Um, just this is one thing I want to show you guys. This is a small photo book that you can get like at the dollar store and it's supposed to hold all your pictures. Well, I have found that all of these little small stencils, I was having a hard time finding them because they were always, you know, at the bottom of my bin or whatever. So what I've done is now, there's a stencil, I take them and I just stick the little ones in this little book and then there they are. So that works out really well for me. Just a quick tip and storage idea for you. 
Okay, ribbon. Let me grab a thing of ribbon. Ribbon. Another storage thing I do. Um, this was, I don't know, a thing of pretzels or uh, party mix. This was party mix. Um, I love these jars. First of all, they're plastic. They fall off. It doesn't matter. They're not going to get hurt. Um, they're not going to break. And second reason is because then you can just fill them full of this goody stuff. So let me get some ribbons out here and I'll be right back. All right, so I got some ribbon out. Um, the first piece that I got was this little piece of heart ribbon. And what I'm going to do, not cute. Um, I, this is a fine line botter, bot, yeah, botter. It's a fine line botter um, bottle. And it's just full of Elmer's glue. That's all that's in it. Just school glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I use it for this because there's times when you want glue but you don't want a whole bunch of glue. So I'm just going to go through like every few and just dot some glue on it. Come on. Flip over. Come on. Day flipped over. Not sure how many, but let's take this and we're going to put it. Oops! Come on. Sorry, guys. My hands shake because of the medicines I'm on. I'm going to put this right here. I just like it there. That look cool. And then I'm just going to cut the end off. There we go. Oops, I just stuck my finger in some ink. That's okay. All right. Um, actually, you know, I kind of like that idea. Let's do that. Let's do that some more. Ooh, I like it. It's partially dry. Alright, now I also have this ribbon here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this little hangy thing here. So, first thing I'm going to do is tie the top of it in a knot so that all three of them stay together. Alright, there's that. And I'm thinking about doing like a little hangy thing right here. So let's cut these off. Now I could, I just want to hang it there. Just something like that. That's all I want to do. Now I could use a brad in here. Let's see. Here's my brads. Um, brads used to be all in their own little containers and I never used them and I found out after watching actually Gina was who I saw do it um, she was digging through her brad drawer like this and I thought oh my gosh I'll use so many more brads and let me tell you I do I don't like that one. Um, let's we're doing hearts so let's do this pink heart I use more brads now than I ever did when they were all put together all right, so I'm gonna take this brad. I'm gonna put it around this um, ribbon. Can you guys see what I'm doing? And then I'm gonna bend it back in. And then I'm gonna punch a hole, which my hole punch is right here. That's a tiny hole. I could do a tiny hole, I think. And I'm just going to punch it right about there. And then I'm going to stick my brad in here. And you know what? It's going to come through my other page. That's okay. I don't mind. I actually don't care. Yay! And there's my little ribbon. My ribbon guy. Alright, I'm just going to leave that like that. So there we go. We did ribbon. This has got to go in my little scraps drawer. 
Okay. What's next? Oh, here's another little scrap. Yeah, I don't throw those little scraps away. That's great for on ATCs or that kind of stuff. All right, that was number two, four, six. Number seven. Use a non-dominant hand. I'm assuming that is to write with, so or draw with. So I don't know if I want this right here. So my non-dominant hand, I am right-handed, so this is going to be interesting. But what I want to do is I want these to stand out. So let's... Even doing something as simple as, as doing this, with the left hand, it's not easy. It's actually quite difficult. Um, I'm not going to go around those. Well, maybe I'll... Just do my circle. Alright. And then i got to use my non-dominant hand to wet these. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. It's, this is going to look like a, 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 um, child is pa a child's page, which is kind of cool, don't you think? Do, 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 do. I'm just having fun, having fun. Zip. No, I forgot to do this one. It's very difficult to use your non-dominant hand. All right, what else do I want to do? I want to take this. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. It's given something. It's funny because I can't see either. Because I'm used to looking at things this way. And it's like my hand, the shadow gets in the way. Things you learn about using your non dominant hand, right? Alright. I think that is good. So let's see what's next. Number two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven. Number eight. Two stencils. Ma, 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 ma. Let's see. Thanks, Cindy. Two stencils. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just saw one. I just saw one that would be perfect. Where'd it go? Come on. Where'd you go? Bingo. This is actually, um, as you can see, it's a card. And what I did is I took my um, punch and I just started punching shapes out of it. So there's one. I'm going to need another one. Um, let's do something that's got quite a bit of coverage to it. So let me do, do, do. This is all part of the process, guys. Figuring out what you're going to use. It's funny. What you going to do? I like this one. All right, this one spoke to me. Now, I actually have some paint over on my palette from another project. So that's what I'm just going to use. So I'm going to start out with a new sponge. Don't know what that's for. Okay, I got a new sponge here and I've got some 
blue and purple here I'm just going to kind of mix up a little bit. And we're just going to do some blue and purple. Doesn't that sound like fun? Why not? Because we can. Why not? Perfect. And let's just do a little bit more. Okay, let's throw a little bit more over here. Perfect. All right, so there's one. The second stencil I'm going to use is this one. And I'm actually, I actually have a couple different shades of purple over here on my palette. So I am going to use those. I'm using the same sponge. And I just want to throw a heart in there. There we go. All right, so there we go. So we've got our two stencils. All right, before I put those away, actually, let me put these away since I have them right here. There's one. Human. Two. All right, so those are done. Next, number nine. Use primary colors. That is red, yellow, and blue. Okay. We'll use red, yellow, and blue. Here's red. Here's a yellow. And here's a blue. Red, yellow, and blue. Alright, so let's start out with our red. I don't like that, so we're just going to color it all in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, we're just going to just going to color this all in with the red. I didn't like the way it looked, so I'm just going to color these. Actually, I could probably use a bigger one, but actually, I do have the bigger one right here. This is better. Much easier. one so it's all solid. Okay, so there's our red that we used. Now we've got yellow, which, you know what, I think I might, let's see if this yellow works good enough. Do, 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 do. See, even when there's um, a challenge like, you know, using a color that's not on here, there's a way to incorporate it so that it doesn't have to all be, you know, boom, here's a splotch of yellow and here's a splotch of red. The red, I think, brought the hearts back out more. Um, I was really hoping for uh, something to outline these flowers or whatever you want to call them a little bit more as far as in a prompt, maybe doodle, that kind of thing. Um, but that hasn't happened, so it's okay. I may still be able to get it in yet. Do, 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 do. We still have one more prompt to go. Alright, and then we've got our, so we've got red and yellow. Whoops. Red and yellow. And now we've got our blue. And what I'm using are Posca pens. Um, I was actually thinking about doing those, but you know what? I think I should do this. Doot, doot, doot. Mm. 
Yeah. Oops, I'm sticking down here or something. So you guys like these challenges, huh? I haven't seen anybody do any yet, though. So honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue these for 2018. Um... You know, if if you want me to continue them, I really would like to see um, some participation and see people trying them because they are fun to do. Um, and it really, it's it's like I said, it's a freedom that just you can't get this doing you know an art journal page in a in a traditional way because this um, you know it makes you think outside that proverbial box. You know, you got to look and see what what you can do outside of that box. So, there is my primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. All right, number 10, be something good, be something good. Use fluid acrylic paints. I can do that. Um, let me grab, I have the, a bunch of them in fine liners. So let me grab those, I'll be right back. All right, so what I've done is I have taken my fluid acrylic paints, and <clears throat> um, these are golden, and I've put them in fine liners. And then I just write the colors on them. Um, move this aside. I have gesso in this one, cerulean blue deep, dairy lead yellow, and green gold. So I'm going to play. So the first thing I was thinking about doing is let's take this green. Make sure my other top's on tight. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test and see what kind of a line I get. Okay, so I get quite of a big line, which is fine. But what I want to do is I want to just put in little stems here. That's all. All right, so there's my little stem. Second thing I want to do is I want to take this cerulean blue. Hopefully take off the right cap, not the other one. Again, this one is quite large, so that means I'm going to get quite a big um, spot. So what I'm thinking about doing... It's just plain. do with my yellow not sure my black we're gonna do some outlining I just want it to be this is one I should do in my non-dominant hand because it'd look about the same now this one's a real fine line so I actually have to um, really squeeze on this one it's okay, it's gonna get it's gonna get icky in it. That's all right. So I have to really, you know, push to make this one happen. So there is my fluid acrylic paint. <laughs> oh goodness. And let me tell you, this page just looks like an array of things. Um, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Do I really want to do that? No, I don't. I think I'm done. 
I think I am done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's Pick 10. As always, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And if you like, you know, this, leave me your comments about, you know, continuing these. I know everybody loves to see them, but like I said, I don't see a whole lot of participation as far as other people doing them. And that's something if, you know, I continue these, I would love to see because, you know, yes, I enjoy doing them, but trust me, I have a lot on my plate as far as art. So, um, between art and dealing with chronic pain, um, yeah, the two go hand in hand, though. So, uh, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.